Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Hope everybody's doing well today. Earlier this week, a user on Twitter named Get Hornbeat reached out to me and asked if I could uh, show how to install a container that has a bot on it that will notify us via Telegram anytime there's a change on our Docker server. So after doing some research, I found a container out there that will do exactly that. Uh, it took me a little while to kind of get the nuances of how to get everything set up, and that's what I want to share with you today. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump over to my desktop and take a look at kind of what this process looks like. And of course, the first thing you're gonna need is a Telegram account, so make sure you get signed up for that. Uh, very straightforward process. You can do it on your desktop, your phone, wherever. In this case, we're gonna do it on my desktop because it does make things a little bit easier um, than trying to show you this on a, a mobile device. So here we are. We've got Telegram up and running here. Um, <clears throat> and so the first thing that we need to do is actually uh, go over here to where it says bot father. Of course, you could just start a conversation up here. You could just come up here to the top and search bot father um, and find that and uh, go ahead and just in here type slash new and then bot like so. Oops, let's drag that up there. Now we're gonna give it a name. We're gonna call this, um, I'm gonna call it DB Tech Notifier. And so now that's just giving it a name, like what it's, what it's like, I'm David, it, this is DB Tech Notifier. So now we need to give it a, a, a username. So uh, we're gonna do a DB Tech, oops, Notifier underscore bot. It has to end in underscore bot. Otherwise the bot father here has a conniption fit. So make sure whatever name you give it ends in underscore bot. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, we've gone ahead and done that. So the next thing we need to do here, just real quick, we need to make note of this HTTP API. I'm just gonna copy that like so, and I'm gonna paste that in my notes that I've got off screen. Um, and then what we're gonna do uh, right here, uh, right here it says uh, t.me slash dbtechnotifierbot. We're gonna click that, we're gonna do a start. Um, and I'm just gonna type hi, uh, j just because. Now the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to go to a URL. Now this URL that we're gonna go to, uh, I will have this linked in the description down below, but basically uh, this is an, a Telegram API URL. And uh, all you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna replace this segment right here in that URL, oops, including the four there, you're gonna replace all of that with whatever your HTTP API is that the bot father assigned you. Um, you're gonna put that in right there, and then you're just gonna press enter. We'll give that a second, and there's nothing there yet. So what we'll do is we'll come back over here, and I'm just gonna type in uh, db tech notifier underscore bot. We're just gonna type some stuff in there. There we go. We just needed something in here to uh, to give us some API information. And so basically what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna come over here where it says chat. Uh, in fact, I'll probably say chat in here a couple of different times. But what we're looking for is this next line that says ID uh, right here. Uh, so it's gonna be the chat ID is uh, this right here. So I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna paste that uh, in um, in my notes down here as well. So basically that's kind of all we need to do to get started here. So uh, what we'll do next is we'll come over here uh, to my, uh, uh, to this uh, guest or just uh, that I put together over on GitHub. This will be available in the description down below. Uh, we're gonna go over to Portainer. So from here, I'm gonna go to stacks. I'm gonna click on add a stack. I'm gonna paste this in. Uh, I'm gonna give this stack name uh, DB Tech uh, Telegram. And I'm gonna come back over here to my notes. I'm gonna copy some stuff. So I'm gonna put in, uh, that is my uh, bot token. And then I've actually got the correct chat ID in there from earlier. Uh, so basically what you're gonna do is your whatever chat ID you get uh, from, uh, from right here, uh, you're gonna paste in right here. So you, the only thing you're gonna modify in this is the bot token and the chat ID. Uh, and of course, give it a name. And then we're gonna scroll down I'm gonna click on deploy the stack. All right, so I've already got one notifier up here. This BB notes was already one that I had up and running just for testing purposes and whatnot. But now under that, you can see DB tech notifier is connected to Docker 2010.1. So if I come over to here, right here is our DB tech notifier and you can see that it's connected now. So what I wanna do uh, to kind of, oops, show this a little bit better 
is I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna drag that over there, and we'll drag this over there. And then, so now we've got this uh, healthy status right there as well, so that's good. Uh, some of these are gonna be duplicated for me, unfortunately, because I've got two bots running. Uh, so let's come over, uh, let's go over here to containers. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna uh, kill my, my first one that I've got running. I'm just gonna click stop. And right here, you can see I got a notification for that. Of course, I got that one as well. Um, so what I'll do here then, uh, just to kind of continue to show this, DB Tech Notifier is the one we just created. So what I'll do is I'll come over to Plex and I'm just gonna restart it. We'll give this a second to do its thing up here. Of course, it's got a, there we go. So here you can see the Plex stopped and Plex started. That tells us basically that it restarted for us. So we should be good to go. So that's how easy it is to set up a Telegram notification bot in Docker. Uh, there's a few steps that you kind of got to go through and you have to kind of know where to go and what to do. But uh, once, once you know that, which hopefully this video uh, helped you understand that, setting up that bot is super, super easy. So big shout out to Get Hornbeat for the inspiration on this video. And thanks to you guys uh, for watching, of course. Uh, all of this, like I said before, will be available in the description down below. Uh, while you're down there, there are a couple of other things you could do. If you wanted to support the channel, you could become a channel member, or you could jump over to Patreon and take a look at becoming a patron if you wanna do that. Uh, of course, I wanna give a big shout out to my patrons. Uh, thank you guys for supporting me, uh, as well as my channel members. Uh, you guys are much appreciated. Uh, so thank you for the support. Um, but I think with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support. And I'll talk to you in the next video.